Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode here on Dale Beatty Outdoors. Uh, it's Friday, September 24th. Still got a little bit of the cold front going on here in the state of Kentucky. Um, looking to obviously, you know, fill the freezer this evening. So we're about to get up in a tree and see what we can do. Guys, appreciate, you know, the love and support you guys have been showing me. Make sure that you still continue to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave some comments out there. Love interacting with you guys. Um, this evening, temperature is supposed to be dropping uh, pretty good. So um, hopefully we can get some early movement going on. Last night, had one come in right at the end of shooting light. Uh, wasn't sure if it was a spike. Um, or a doe so I didn't want to take a shot in case it was a spike because you only get one buck tag here in the state of Kentucky and uh, obviously you know out here looking for some mature bucks so um, about to get up in a tree see what we can make happen uh, I'll see you guys up there what's up guys so just got set up here in the tree it is 4:50 uh, yesterday had that small uh, doe come in right at five o'clock so maybe something bigger will show up at five o'clock today but we're about to get nestled in for this evening hunt um, it's starting to cool down already a little bit um, again it's amazing getting out here and not just be profusely sweating um, just as a heads up like this isn't the only stand that I have out here this is the stand I have set up for early season I have a late season stand that I'm not gonna hunt until about um, probably mid-October beginning of November um, the rut here in Kentucky starts around November um, first second week there so I'm waiting to, uh, to hunt that stand and uh, you know give you guys another another view but uh, yeah we're about to get locked in and uh, get to hunting so hopefully we can get it done this evening I'll see you in a little bit
Hopefully they come back. The does come back. Teresa can go out there and do his own thing. He needs a couple more years, but it's always nice whenever, you know, you can get in bow range of, of a buck, no matter its age. Hell, even getting in bow range of a doe is always nice. So, we're going to nestle back in and uh, see what else this evening has to bring us. Thank mm -hmm. you. 